Yeah, without the feedback, it it's tricky. There's a big trust game going on for your with you and your what you know of yourself and your instrument. And um, I mean, I would say if you do one song consistently and it is not generating a step forward ever, try another song. It doesn't mean it's a bad song, but try another song. If you, um, but it, but it is tricky. If you know that you've done the work on the material, it's in your body, and you know that you land it in the room because you're so focused on your intentions and you have a perception after the fact. So you're not focusing on it as it happens, but after the fact, you're like, I sounded good. I hit the notes, it was, I sounded good. Then uh, it really just become a trust game. Uh, is it numbers? Is it like you do you do a song 10 times and no, no feedback, no results? Okay, I tried that one. Let me try something else, maybe. Um, but then again, Every audition is a different set of uh, factors, right? Every audition is a different set of factors. You don't know exactly what they're looking for behind the table. If the role's cast, you know, you just don't know. I don't. You don't fit into their the boxes that they have determined for you, um, and that's not your business to even know. You know, all you can do is the work. Go in and do the good work. Uh, and again, if after time you go like. I, I feel, I start to feel as if the song isn't serving me. It's probably more of that. The feeling sense of like, I've done this 10 times. It's, I don't, it doesn't seem to be generating the kind of results I want. Let me switch gears, which is not even saying it's a bad song or that I didn't do it well. But so I think it's kind of a numbers game. If, if after a certain number of times, there's no feedback, you go, okay, I'll let this one go. Maybe I'll come back around to it. But yeah, it's, it's, in, it's a very tricky, high level thing to know, is it the song or is it the situations and the factors in the room?